what can I possibly design as a mix of a giraffe and a flamingo? In this video, I will sculpt a hybrid animal that you will get the opportunity to name. Let's get sculpting. For this project, I'm going to need armature wire, pliers, and tin foil. I'm also going to need a sculpting plate and a drill to anchor the armature onto that plate. Then I'm going to need clay, and today I am using Super Sculpey, my favourite sculpting tools, and a bit of isopropyl alcohol to smooth the sculpture towards the end. Before I can finish the armature, I'm going to sculpt a little bit of super sculpey about the joints. This will just help stabilize the armature before I start bulking it out with tin foil. Now the armature is ready and though it might look a little bit like a headless chicken at the moment, bear with me and it will start taking shape soon. The first thing I'm going to do is add a thin layer of Super Sculpey around the centre of the body and then I'm actually going to bake it one more time which will just give me a little bit more of a sturdy uh, base to sculpt the details on top of. I'm working my way down the body and next I'm going to be sculpting the wings of the flamingo but first I'm going to bake what I have so far so that the finished head and neck doesn't get damaged
Before I move on to the legs and the final details, I'm going to be transferring the sculpture onto its final base. And also, because the sculpture will eventually be resting on just the one leg, I've decided to replace the aluminium wire in that leg with a steel rod, which will make the final product a lot more sturdy and a lot stronger. part of the sculpting except when I went to bake it the last time it didn't quite fit in the oven so I accidentally bashed its head and the ear snapped off so here's a little bonus chapter on how to fix your broken sculpture I'm going to need super glue baby powder a mixing stick and some fine sandpaper first I'm gluing the ear back on and then I create a paste from the super glue and baby powder and I can use that to fill in the seam. When it's dry, I can sand off the excess paste and once this has all been painted, you won't be able to tell. The sculpture is now finally finished and if you're still here watching, hopefully that means that you like my weird creation because this flamingo giraffe hybrid doesn't actually have a name yet. So if you have any great ideas, Please let me know in the comments below and I will update the video title with your suggestion and credit you in part 2 of this video where I'll be painting the sculpture. See you then!